In this video, I'm going to try and recreate a Gouda Food sous vide pineapple steak trick to improve a $3 steak from Costco. Simple Tech, practical, effective technology. I made this channel to experiment with simple technology for agriculture and energy. Clicking the subscribe button tells YouTube's algorithm you want to see more videos like this. Click the subscribe button now. So I bought a six kilogram, 14 pound sirloin tip hunk of meat from Costco. I chopped it up into 20 steaks. 52.25 divided by 20 is $2.61 a steak. But add the pineapple cost at about a dollar a can and it's just over $3 a steak. For a good sized steak. So first I cooked a couple of steaks sous vide without the pineapple trick. And I gotta say, yuck! They were tough, like chewing leather. Flavor was okay, but thank God I still have my natural teeth because these suckers needed chewing. So I was off to YouTube for answers, and Gouda Foods has a trick for cheap steaks that I had to try. So let's do this! So Gouda recommends fresh pineapple, but 60 miles north of Winnipeg, canned was all I could get today. A Nutribullet or Magic Bullet works well to blend the pineapple. You want a consistent texture to coat all the steaks to make this trick work right. So first thing you do is coat the bottom of a pan with the pineapple mixture. Then you place the steaks in the pineapple and finally you pour pineapple all over the top of the steaks so they are completely immersed in pineapple. Then you let it sit for two to three hours, more time for tougher steaks. I left them a little over three hours fully coated. After three hours you take the steaks out of the mixture, wash them off and pat them down with a paper towel. Season the steaks with salt, fresh peppercorns for a little more bite, and some garlic power. Sorry Costco, all these spices are from Superstore. Sous vide requires a vacuum sealed bag. So next we vacuum seal the steaks with a food saver machine, sucking out all the air from the plastic bag and sealing it tight. Since the steaks are sealed in an airtight vacuum bag, we don't need a food grade container to cook the steaks. A standard plastic bucket will work fine. And I cooked the steaks at 132 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours on my deck. Right out of the water bath, sous vide steaks don't look all that appealing and my propane torch was out of gas, so I fired up the stove instead to high and seared a nice char on both sides of the steak right before cutting them up. The result? Tender and perfect! Thank you, Guga. These $3 steaks are now awesome! I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and please check out my other videos on simple technology you can use yourself. Oh! And please take the time to hit subscribe. It tells YouTube's algorithm to suggest other videos like this to you. Have a great day.